Gail from Our Space. Hi, I'm Peggy from Our Space, and welcome to another one of our craft videos. And we have again with us our special friends. Hi, I'm Jesse. Hi, I'm Emily. Thank you for joining us. So, what are we making today, everyone? We are making coffee filtered bats. Great. Okay, so here's my sample. We can all show our samples. Here's my sample. Nice, I like how they're all different. Right, I do too. So before we begin our bat activity, we're gonna start with a breathing activity that's a bat breath. So our arms are gonna be our bat wings. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some deep breaths in and out, and at the same time, raise and lower our bat wings, okay? And if you notice, I was cold and put a shawl on and it made it look like bat wings. Perfect. So, all right, let's begin together. We'll do a couple of deep breaths and make our bat wings fly. All right, here we go. One more. Thank you. Right, that was fun. I feel, I feel ready to go. Okay. Okay, what supplies do we need for today? Okay, so today we're going to need coffee filters, washable markers, a spray bottle, water, a clothespin, plastic bags, scissors, tape, and construction paper. So our first step is we have our coffee filter and you can grab any color you want. I'm gonna do mine different shades of pink because I like pink and we're gonna just color on the coffee filter with marker. And the washable markers are what we need, right? So it Yes, it has to be washable markers. And okay. you, don't, you can do whatever you want. You can do random scribbles. You could do a nice pattern if you want to. It's up to you, totally up to you. All right, it doesn't matter how neat or organized it is. It's just getting all the colors on there. Yeah. Yeah, totally. So I, I folded mine in half and then colored it just to make it quicker. But either, either way is okay. Okay. What colors are you guys using? I'm using black, purple, and green. Ooh, that's some Halloween. Yeah. I'm using black, red, blue, and purple. I like the ideas of using any colors. Right yeah. now. I'm using black, purple, and blue. Yeah. Great. That's what I used on um, another one that I did. Those colors. Okay. I'm enjoying all the Halloween fall crafts that we're doing and that we see out there. I know, it's so fun. It's making some really nice decorations around the house. So what do we do after we do the coloring? Yeah, so. Oh, mine is colored. Once we do the coloring, it's time to spray it with a spray bottle or whatever you have um, to like put water on it. I think, Gail, you said you don't have a spray bottle. So what, what were you gonna use? I don't have a spray bottle, so I'm just gonna dip my hand in water and just flick it. Yeah, that works. And I didn't have a spray bottle, oops, a spray bottle either, but I'm using a tiny measuring spoon and some water and gonna sprinkle it on that way. Okay. So should we start with the water now? Yeah. You know, Gail, yeah, you always like to do the messy way. I do. <laughs> 
-hmm. always. So you just put the water on until the colors start to spread, correct? Correct. Sometimes I use my finger just to like help them spread around a little bit, but you can do whatever. It looks sort of like tie dye. Yeah. Right. This is cool. Yeah. It's really cool to watch all the colors spread out. Yeah. So here's how mine are spreading out. Oh, cool. This is mine. Oh. Mine. Oh, cool. Nice. Mine. I folded it in half, but let me. I... Oh, pretty. Oh, cool. It is like tie dye. Symmetrical. And I used a plastic bag to dry it on, but you really can use anything. Yep, yeah, I'm using a um, paper plate. Right, that's what I, I have it on a tray, but then put it on a paper plate to dry. Okay. All right, so we'll it let those It takes dry. a little while to dry, unless it's warm outside, you could put it outside. Yeah. I found that putting it in between two paper towels really helped it dry fast. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. So we made some last night that were already like this. So let's take them out. And what's the next step? Emily, do you want to show us the next step? Sure. So you just fold it in half. And then keep on folding. So you can either stop there or do it one more time. Okay. Right, so we have like a shape like this. It's kind of like um, an ice cream cone. Yeah. <laughs> but don't eat it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so once we have this, what's the next step? You take your scissors and then you do two little half circles on the edge. Okay. Okay. So we're doing it cutting on the, the curved edge, correct? Correct. And this is making the bat wing shape. Yes. And remember, if you need any help with your scissors, you can ask a friend or a caregiver or a parent. Kind of making mine in points. Me too. Oh. Um, I, have, I have a special friend who's next to me who's going to do the rest of the craft with us, which is my dog. So he's not happy being next to me. So there he is. Okay, we're ready. Hi, Cedric. <laughs> we're ready for the next step. Right. Um, also, I just wanted to say that if you don't have a coffee filter, you could use like construction paper, black. Yeah. Or just any type of paper. I even, um, you might not be the color, but I even had some tissue paper that cut out of that shape. Yeah. Oh, nice. That's cool. Forgot okay. about that. Okay, okay. and then after, after we have that cut, then what's next? You can unfold it. Okay. And it'll give you a little bat. So you can also cut down the center about halfway to make it look like separate wings. Oh, okay. All right. And Jesse, what's the Here's next step? So the next step will be attaching your bat's body. So I don't have a clothespin. So what I do is I cut down the center and then I put a quick little fold in it, right like that. And if you have a clothespin, you can just clip it right on. But since I don't, I'll show you what to do without a clothespin. Okay. So I made my fold and now I'm just gonna tape it so it stays well. And then what I did was, because I didn't have a clothespin, I cut out a bat head out of construction paper. 
So I'm going to tape that onto my back. Great. And I did have a clothespin, so I'm attaching it like that. Oh, and that I'm going to paint some eyes on it later like I did with that one. Nice. So I didn't have a clothespin either, so I'm just going to cut some ears into the top of it, which is just making a little triangle. Great. And then did you, Emily, how did you make yours go together? Or instead, of, did you use a clothespin or something else? I was using the tape, like Jesse said. The tape, okay. So I, um, for my second one, I got this idea from Emily. I have a twisty tie from, you know, bread or whatever, and I'm gonna try wrapping that around it. Good idea. So, cause I, I know some people have clothespins, but if you don't, you can use like Jesse and Emily did tape or a twisty. So I have little sticker eyes to put on my bat. So I'm just gonna put those on right now and I'll add a mouth later. Great. Oh, I love it. I made little eyeballs out of construction paper. So I'm gonna add those. Nice. nice. And I'm going to finish mine a little bit later. Right. I, at least I have my base together and then I'll add a face later. Great. <laughs> yeah. All right. That was fun. Thank you for teaching us this bat coffee filter craft. Yeah. Yes. Thank and you then so when much. When it dries, we'll be able to add to it later. <laughs> <laughs> If you'd like to see our other craft videos, you can go to our website at www.ourspacerocks.org. Happy crafting. Have fun. Bye. Bye, Bye Cedric. <laughs>